Hello everyone, welcome to today's video on the attack of the Taj. November the 26, 2008 was a dark day in the Indian history because the financial capital of India, the Mumbai, got attacked for three straight days by the terrorists. Famous places like the Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Terminus, the Nariman Place, the Leopold Cafe, the Oberoi Hotel and the iconic the Taj Mahal Palace Hotel all got attacked. 168 lives were lost and more than 300 plus were wounded on those days. During these testing times, during these dark days, heroes are born, heroes come out of ordinary people. And in this video, we are going to pay tribute to them, we are going to show respect to them and we are going to learn from them how leaders emerge when times get really tough. And in this video, I'm going to focus only on the incidents happened inside the, the iconic Taj Mahal Palace Hotel. Now, you know why? Because on the day of the attack, more than 1,000 guests were inside the Taj Mahal Palace Hotel. And because of these heroes, the number of people dead because of the terrorist attack went down to 32. 32 is a significant number, yes. And in absence of these heroes, this number would have easily crossed above hundreds. So let me not make you wait to listen to the stories of these heroes. Malika Jagat. She was a 24-year-old banquet manager at the time of the attack and she was hosting the HUL party, the Hindustan Unilever Companies party, which is the number one FMCG company in India. Its chairman, its CEO, its board of directors, important executives, all were attending the party with their families and she was tasked to host them with 30 other colleagues for that party. And when she heard these gun sounds outside the banquet hall, everyone thought it was some firecrackers going off in the nearby wedding. But she knew something was wrong and immediately she turned off all those lights, closed all those doors and made sure that guests were com comfortable until the help arrived. And yes, the help arrived the next day. So until that period, all along the night, she kept her guests safe. She gave them the confidence and when help arrived, they, they walked out through the window, through the ladder, and then she was the last person to come out along with her colleagues. Now, guest was the number one priority, and because of her, many lives were saved. Malika Jagad. And the second up is Mr. Thomas Vergis, a senior waiter in the Taj. She was working at the Taj restaurant. And when he heard the terrorists were storming inside the Taj, he made sure he collected all his, all his colleagues he became a leader and then he asked them to form a human shield protecting his guest inside the restaurant. And when help arrived, they need to run from the restaurant along a corridor towards the staircase which will take them to stay safety. He was around 50 at the time and the security personnel asked him to run first towards the exit. But he, he was very adamant that I will never go without my guest leaving and then he made all his guests to get to safety and when he ran along the corridor towards the base of the staircase, he was shot down. And that gentleman, Mr. Thomas Vergis, laid down his life to protect his guest. Number three, Karambir Singh Kang. Saving others is heroic. Laying your life for saving others is godly. Uh, what about this man? We need to really salute him. He was the general manager of the Taj Mahal Palace Hotel and he was attending another meeting in another area. When he heard about the attack, he came immediately back to the uh, spot. And then when he arrived, he saw the top floors, the fifth floor and the sixth floor of the hotel were in complete fire. He didn't pay much attention to it, but he went along with the work and he made sure that every guest and every employee was back uh, to safety. And then he revealed it to others that on the sixth floor, his family stayed, his wife and his two daughters. Knowing that the fifth and sixth floor are on fire, knowing that, that, his, that his family is in danger, he didn't complain about that. He didn't cry about that. He didn't mourn for them. He went about his job and then he made sure he, he safeguarded everyone. And then he let out that his wife and his daughters are trapped there. And uh, sadly, they were all dead because of that attack. Great man, Karambir Singh. How come Malika Jagat, Thomas Vergis, Karambir Singh Kang, Hemant Obara, and the constable who caught the terrorist Ajmal Kazab, all these people and many unsung heroes, even security guards, 
they, they kept their personal safety secondary and then they helped others. How come are they able to do it? Because they are getting paid. They don't need to give their lives for what they are getting paid, right? They're, they're just employees, normal employees, normal workers. How, how could they do it for a company, for an organization? If army, if you hear about these stories inside the army, you would be much, pretty much surprised about it because they are supposed to do it. But their job description doesn't say so. Then how come they are able to keep their safety secondary while helping others? That's a very big question, my dear friends. And that's what we got to learn from these heroes. And if we are able to learn these things from, from them, one day, if a situation arises, God forbid, we will be the hero and we can save countless number of lives, right or wrong. Two things that I identified from these people. The number one quality is CCC, customer-centric culture that's being practiced in the Taj hotels all along the country. And the second reason is recruitment and training. You'll be very much surprised because of this. Yes, that is the reason they became heroes. Customer-centric culture. No. Taj has got branches all across India and, and they've got hotels in other countries also. In all these branches, in all these hotels, they practice a culture called customer centric. They'll go any extra mile to delight the customer. To them, guest is God. For example, if you're going and staying in a Taj and if your AC is not working in your room, don't be surprised. Next day morning, they will offer you a free ride from the hotel to anywhere you wanna go because they don't want any customer to get out of the property disgruntled they'll, they'll go any length so any employee even even a security guard or a bellboy has got the right to delight the customer as long as it stays within the hotel rules so they don't they don't need to go and ask the seniors sir can i do for this customer all they need to do is they need to do when the customer asks so when in times of these testing times when when the terrorist attack happened they didn't wait for orders, they just executed because to them, guest is God because they were brought in inside a culture of customer centric centricity so that they were able to do the right thing, which is to save the customers at whatever cost they are supposed to pay. And that's what they did. And the second part are the recruitment and training. Taj Hotels has got a peculiar recruitment strategy. They don't go and recruit people, employees or HRs or managers from the metros like uh, the Mumbai, Delhi, Chennai, Bangalore. They go to the B cities like Surat, Guwahati, Vaisag, Coimbatore. They go to these B towns, sometimes to these C towns to recruit people. You know why? Because to them, people coming from these B towns and C towns, they give a lot of respect to elders. Though They show a lot of care and uh, affection. And uh, when they give a commitment, they make sure that they make it happen. So uh, it's easy for them to train people coming from these background. For you to get a right plan, you, all you need is a right seat. So what they do is they pick the right employee, they train them. And that recruitment uh, policy has paid off big time in times of a crisis like this. And second part is the training. Now, training created second line leaders. And that's the beauty about training. Regularly, they were trained uh, on some Every, every now and then, every month, they'll go some sort of a training, either in the department area or in the leadership or in the soft skill. Some X, Y, Z training will happen to them every now and then. One thing got imbibed in their mind because of training is customer centeredness. So in times of crisis, they didn't think about their personal safety because they are trained to take care of their customers first. And that's what they did on the day of the attack also. And because of the training, there was dedication they, and, and many people held their ground, held to their post. They were dedicated to their job. There are stories of telephone op operators. When they were taken to safety, they came back inside the hotel, called the guest and guided them on how to get out of the hotel safely. And the most important thing that happened because of the training was the employees took ownership of their, of their hotel. They thought, Taj Mahal Palace Hotel was theirs and they were all their guests and they need to support them. It's my company kind of a feeling came inside them. And that's what many, I, I'm a trainer and I'm a coach. I go and work with a lot of business people and many business people are hoping that somehow their workers, their employees will get the feeling that this is not my boss's organization. This company is my company also and they need to work for it. They, they are hoping some way it will happen but it will happen only because of training and that's what happened for the employees of the Taj Hotel because they took the ownership. They felt this is my hotel and I need to protect my people and that's what they did, my dear friends. So my dear friends, I'm asking you to take a look inside your 
culture, your family's culture, your business culture, the way you train yourself, because these things play a major role in bringing the leader out of you, the hero out of you. Finally, let's pay our respect and tribute to these heroes by listening to their stories, reading about them and learning from them most importantly. I hope you guys like this video and stay tuned for more videos of this kind. And until next video, this is Gautam signing off. Peace and prosperity to you. Bye-bye.